Eat banana, tasty banana, squeeze the peel, it comes in denim. Eat banana, tasty banana, squeeze the peel, it comes in denim. Squeeze the banana, okay? Squeeze the banana, yo! Squeeze the banana, my home. Depressed, an alcoholic. That was the start of my YouTube career. Today, many years later, things are a lot better. That's for sure. That is for certain. It is certain. Things. It is certain. Rough. Real hell. Got the bag, bro. Got the tips. Got the plastic cups. Will tail jam. Rough. Real hell, bro. Will tail jam. Former pro player, former pro alcoholic, right? Drinking liquor all day long. Good variety of stuff. We'll even have an incentive if someone contributes a very large contribution. I'll take a shot of a special liquor that I have not revealed yet. I'm not getting drunk. Absolutely not. Rough. Real hail. Got the bag, bro. Got the tips, right? Plastic cups. Will tail jam. Rough. Real hail. You need Jesus. Philip consumed real hell day after day after day, bro. If you do to hell with you, you need help. You need Jesus, bro. Real hell got the bag, bro. Got the tips, right? Plastic cups. Will tail jam. Got the bag, bro. Real hell. Bro, got the real hell. Real, 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 real,
disappointing uh, to me, and it's sad, but at the same time, you know, just, once again, all the detractors, they said this was going to happen, and they were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Like, we totally fucked him. No, oh, fuck all that noise. Get you a bottle of gin from Total Wine. Fire up your TV. Drink your, drink your gin. Drink your, drink your gin. Consequences have actions, Pip. Here's what you gotta do. Drink your, drink your gin. Drink with Pepsi later on. Play your fucking WB champions. Consequences have actions, Pip. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Yeah. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Yeah. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Yeah. Like, we totally fucked him. Stop being a fucking victim. You fucking bitch. You fucking asshole. Own your shit. Own your shit. Own it. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself, bitch? They were right. Like, we totally fucked him. You're still on mission one. No, I'm not gonna let you lie. I know you're lying. I'm gonna pick on you. I know you're lying. Being dishonest and begging for money and people wanting justice. He is not a real person. He is not genuine. He is not honest. He's a scammer. I just see a scammer. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. I just see a scammer. Bagging. Like, we totally fucked him. Alright, I'm done. I, I, I'm done. I understand everything now. I know why there's this hate wave on him, and it's been on him for years. It's because of this bullshit. American Mall. is depression. Depression is not a joke. It's not something to be joked about when you are not alone. You are not a horrible person because you have this. It's not your fault. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. It's been tough. Um, over the last decade. It yeah. has. It's been tough. That being said, 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 hello, hello, this is Phil, Phil Burnett, all right, and um, just wanted to tell you that I love the podcast, that being said, big ups, that being said, which vest is podcast vest, that being said, Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. Tap bean set. Which vest is podcast best? 
Tap being sad. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. A L Team Insider. The legend. Fantastic Mr. Sam. The dentist. Ski to the dead. Psychological style host. Me or cat. Artistic style host. Tap being set. Which vest is podcast best? Tap being set. Which vest is podcast best? If there is ever meaningful content, it's being produced right here on That Being Said. <laughs> oh, that was a great one, Sam. Good one to start the show with, for sure. Cannot say it on air, though, as usual. Um, legendary hosts are in, are in order. We have Logical Style, Cerebral Style, Musical Style, Secret Musical Style, Wizard of Oz Style, and ALT Style. Everyone's a legend. Everyone understands that. Business Style Announcements coming from Meerkat. Do we have any today, my friend? Uh, well, we continue our campaign to raise positivity for the children. Yes. So if you want to get Dark Seas figurine or some other piece of charitable style merch, click the links below. You'll figure it out. It's pretty easy and affordable. And uh, yeah, that, that's it, I guess. Like and subscribe and leave oh, a comment also, for the algorithm. Also, we need to get the last chance for the voting on the scammies, by the way. Let's make that final. Oh, yeah. Wednesday show yeah. is going to be deadline. So Wednesday show or Wednesday or Thursday, whenever uh, Chaos Realm is off work, that's when the deadline is. So she controls our life in every way possible. When her <laughs> when she's off work, then the, the poll is done. And we'll check that. Also, in terms of that being said stuff, this week we had a busy week. Oh, my God. We we're so busy. We went above and beyond so far. We got the Mario review. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out. Uh, we had Groupthink and, and Sam streaming today. Go check that out. If you haven't seen that, that was hype. And also, last night's uh, Density Scrolls was a pretty hot one. We'll talk about that a little bit today, uh, for sure. And Snood is getting us down that path there. Big ups to Snood mm -hmm. from Detractor Beam. Says, what's the most illogical thing you've done drunk? And that comment is based on last night. Phil said, uh, well, uh, well, actually, you know, because some people were here and didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. I got a, a good point. Um, we're going to listen to a little bit from last night. And just so you know what we're talking about. Phil was very drunk. On the forums, the fighting game forums, you know, and uh, he said some stuff. He hit, he hit on a girl, Faye, which is you might see Faye in chat. Uh, I've seen her many cases, people mentioning her. And uh, he hit on her very many times. She said that four or five times. And uh, also, uh, he's an alcoholic. He, he, he was had to explain his situation about snitching about a situation on the forums. He snitched and he actually did snitch. And then they, when he was drunk, said he didn't snitch. So they're asking about all these questions about what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What you, what happened? What do you do? And this is how Phil handles it. And if you listen, I want you to remember very closely to the um, the side scrolls interview and listen to the parallels. Okay, we're gonna listen to about a minute or two of this, and it's incredible. And th this oh, was we, we should we should point out yeah. Phil is twenty five. Phil point. is twenty five. Yes, he sounds like he's fifteen, and how it sounds like a men are talking to a a, a school boy that made a mistake. And they're trying to like, you know, they're, he's in the principal's room and they're just talking down to him because it's like mm. that. Phil was the same age, if not older than these gentlemen he's talking to. I want you to remember that as well. Also, we're not going to show it today, but earlier in the stream, Phil called transgenders uh, abominations as well. And uh, out of nowhere, no one brought that up as, uh, at all. But yeah. Jamie Austin's an ab abomination, according to Phil. And everyone, no one, a single person agree with him. And if you not want them at your person. tournament, you're gay. Yes. And if you want Jamie Austin to come to your tournament, well, that means you're gay. So proud ally Phil, as usual, as yeah. usual, totally calling transgender people abominations. Multiple uh, and times, multiple, multiple times, times. People are like, dude, times. every time this person gets mentioned, you are there like clockwork. Yes. Uh, so let's just to, to put, finish this uh, Dead Sea Scrolls recap. Mm -hmm. Please say I play that two minutes or so and uh, we'll pause if anything interesting happens. This is Phil trying to get out of this mess. He was drunk as shit, says he doesn't remember anything, of oh, course. Oh, oh, it's been mentioned. It's been mentioned. Um, yeah. The reason why Phil doesn't like this transgender person, we think is because yes because the okay <laughs> this goes deep but there's a nut phil was caught masturbating earlier that uh, the first incident i call it there's the first <laughs> incident that happened jamie austin is the person that walked in on that on him doing that so i think that's where the anger comes from mm -hmm. i don't think it's less about being a transgender it's a more term about of, he walked in yeah. on him masturbating but that's just a thought <laughs> anyways 
<laughs> Fancy scrolls are a wonderful place. Go ahead, Sam. Please play that first. <laughs> the penultimate <laughs> incident. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Here we go. Hopefully, this is the right place. Listen, listen. I did whoa, tell whoa, 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 when did I say I didn't lie? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that I was literally <laughs> what three minutes ago. Yeah, couple, I think yeah, it's been not that long ago. Yeah. It was completely... You just said you don't lie. Yeah, so, <laughs> all right, I, yeah, yeah, no, I said no, I no, don't no, lie. See... When someone is yeah. shit faced to the point where they don't know what the fuck they're doing, do you think oh. that as their normal action as a sober person? Yeah. So, yeah. So, what? So, I mean, this, but see, you know what? Here's my problem. Here's my problem. My problem is when I ask this is so this is the third time <laughs> that I've asked you about something that is a discrepancy and you say that it's all because you were drunk. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And I'm saying is that's highly suspect. <laughs> if you were to ask me if I was you and you was me and I was telling you the same story and I kept telling you that I was drunk, but you look and I'm looking back at the logs. I'm not even part of the conversation that was being had. I went back at the logs and there is nothing, no mention of you even saying that you were drinking. But on top of that, the couple of nights ago when I really did think you were drunk, you did tell people you were drinking. What's what's so it gonna I'm be saying so? is and then what Ski was trying to say <laughs> is in your conversation with Faye, Faye said, I am drinking and you didn't say anything that you're drinking too. Doubt him. Oh he will just assuming yeah. people are Okay, this is getting good. Oh, no, Holy shit. Oh, okay. yeah. God, we're getting good. I did not hear this. I stopped listening before this is over. How long is this gonna last? <laughs> no no, I'm Stony. I only give the highlights, my friend. All right, real quick, last thing, last anything thing. Anything right that you're drinking too. All right. Second. Right here, this, right here. This is the last part. Phil's gonna say something right here. This will be the we end to here. Listen to this. This this quote from Phil is so reminiscent of side scrollers. Go. Cool. Now you're assuming that because people are saying things and because that well, I'm gonna it's, say, it's say one I'm of those drinking. things. Well, do you not, think that I'm proud that I drink and I get drunk and I go on the internet? It's not about being proud. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, Phil, yeah. I, yeah. Stop moving the goalposts, Phil. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now Phil moving is gonna say. Yep. Now Phil's gonna say I'm not proud of it. That's why I didn't share it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can stop it, Sam. It's, it's just going on forever. But that is he broke out every excuse under the book, and we mm -hmm. even heard I'm an alcoholic. I couldn't fucking find yep. it for the show, but he said I'm an, I'm an alcoholic. What do you expect I don't from remember. me? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> don't remember yep. I don't think you guys are gonna believe me, but all I can say is the truth. Mm. Same exact fucking thing. Right, right down to yeah. When you put it like that, it looks bad. Yeah. Like, if <laughs> like I, how do you think it looks <laughs> like this? How do you if think I just it looks more fucking spell? time, I've got to chop that up and have the exact same answer. It's incredible, guys. It's incredible. And uh, that was a, that was a fun thing in the show. And Faye, uh, Faye is definitely a legend forever. Faye and Taco Jan are legends. Yeah. Never forget their names. Because they Faye turned down Phil. Chat. It was great to have her there. To yes. Sort of, like, yes. Comment every now and then. <laughs> turned down Phil uh, right away at their first chance. They turned him down. So very, holy shit. Lubos Meili. Holy hey, guys. I'm too busy operating my house Ew. i can't get you live anymore but i listen to your nonsense on spotify walking my dog every single day if you stop building there i will charge this back old man okay <laughs> uh, he's probably talking to steve steve make sure you upload this, okay? <laughs> yeah my dad keeps mentioning that as well he keeps asking about the spotify. i do i usually upload it once a week i because i get everything we do upload it once a week it's just easier on the schedule but thanks so much lubos mail that's incredible you're a legend for sure uh but yeah that was the fun of the density schools go let's do it if you haven't listened to it yet it was pretty fun hmm. as for this week while we start about the density scrolls, this week is kind of a light week. Not much uh, in terms of excitement. There's a few things to talk about. And I think we're going to start with what happened last week on the Versus the Internet um, show. And Meerkat, I know you saw that. The pedophile clip was a fun mm -hmm. one in which it was a video asking, um, you know, Ken, if someone is Oh, pedophile, Dominic, I'm so I, I I jokingly banned you the other week. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dominic, legend. <laughs> Sub bomb, you're a legend. You're up there with Tommy on now. You and Tommy on have got something in common. Congratulations to <laughs> blah, 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 whatever. All right. But um, he, they said, if you are a pedophile, should you be – is it bad to have the thoughts if you don't act on it? Right? Is that what you're saying, Meerkat? You can you remember better than me, I think. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess the title of the video – and that was kind of strange because people send him videos that have 20 to 50 views. So it kind of seems suspicious if if – who the person sending those videos was um uh, and uh yeah the, the idea of the video was uh should pedophiles be held morally accountable even if they don't act on on their thoughts yes. and dsp took that and kind of twisted it into a different point and then stopped watching the video and said that it's basically case closed he said the bottom line so he just skipped and yeah. it yeah that, that was fucking stupid uh he made that whole <laughs> point about that you can't read what is in somebody's thoughts. 
Uh, yep. So you obviously can't hold anybody morally accountable. Mm -hmm. But the entire point was really not about that. Uh, it's the point is if you know that somebody is a pedophile, somehow you know. Let's say you've seen something, and even if they haven't broken the law and did something, should they be held morally accountable? Which is pretty clear that should be fucking yes. <laughs> But, yeah, uh, it, of course, he it, 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 that's kind of weird why he would make that case, because really nobody ends up looking good trying to defend pedophilia in any way. No, it fascinates me no. that he even tried to do that. It's, it's frustrating because it, it's intent, especially, is a huge thing in forensic psychology. So, you know, watching that and watching him not get the point and twist it like he did was... Yeah, I wanted to see him in a forensic psychology lecture, just sort of like backing that up. I wanted the lecture to go, uh, go on, elaborate. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it, the weird part, before we get into what he said, he weirdly stood there silent watching the video. Like, you know, just kind of like trying to be like, well, I'm going to watch the whole thing. I know you guys think I'm going to skip this, but I'll watch it. And just silently <laughs> watching it, extremely yeah. interested. Okay, okay, okay. And then he says something that's kind of like not even what the video was talking about. But he has had to get this thought out, this deep thoughts out. That's going to be his final word on it, similar to like the side scores interview. Wait till they hear this. This is going to be my final word. And it was so how he said, like, it's OK if you don't act on it. So you can think whatever the fuck you want if you don't act on it and it doesn't hurt anybody. Right. So I, I think it's very, very specific, actually. That he was saying, like, well, we know what everyone knows what Derek did in terms of did. Right. What does he do? Do, do, do. What does he take action with? He pesters porn stars on Twitter and in their chats, and he used to have playlists of little girls. So I'm thinking Phil, that's how Phil kind of wrapped it up. Like, as long as they don't hurt people, but even though that does hurt people, you are hurting people directly, especially if you have playlists of little girls when those little girls are mm. being, you know, that's not how just they want little, to be. Little girls. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just not, not like sexualizing that matter. Yeah. It's... And, and, and he, he definitely, Ira, good point there. He kind of went to the way of, like, beating people up instead of, like, the sexual way. Hmm. You know, like, oh, yeah, if you, I think about beating people up all the time. That's a little yeah. different. He's, it's because he's done that. He, he's yeah. been like, I've had those race. I still have those racist jokes, those yeah. racist thoughts in my head, but I don't express them on the side scrollers. He, he, he said that. So it's definitely is. Well, I have the thoughts, but I don't do anything about them so you can't call me a racist you know even though somebody who's constantly having racist thoughts i would consider a racist you know at the very um, least you got to start asking yourself about what do i need to you, I, something's wrong here if i'm having these bad of thoughts and being punching yeah, yeah. someone is way different than this punching some, yes. ever, someone at work you hate you know like god i wish i could beat his ass you might think that in your head that's whatever <laughs> you know and mm. you, you wouldn't even do it this person is different Derek is not like this he has mm. playlists and tries to interact with porn stars that are of age of course but you know he had playlists of young girls who knows what he could do if young girls were on the internet in the fucking chat rooms he'd be all over that if he could i imagine mm -hmm. but big up swaggy davis jr says here's the beautiful content big ups dudes thanks swaggy davis jr you are a legend hey, but I, I this was so weird for him to to even interact with i think it's because he wants to make sure i'm not skipping this i'm handling this topic like yeah. a big guy I'm yeah a, yeah i'm Doing talking the... about this yeah, doing the <laughs> overcompensating thing again, making sure uh -huh. he, he comments on it. But you get that that little bit of insight, you know, into the way he thinks. Um, whereas if he maybe just <laughs> didn't say anything, it might have come across a little better or just kind of reined it in a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's great when you get these little things where it just the, the verbal diarrhea just starts to spew. <laughs> he can't stop it. It just says another thing. We'll just skip this fucking video, dude. I don't understand how he puts himself in these situations. I think he, he thinks is a, he thinks this is a good thing for him, you know. But just like skip this fucking video. How hard is that to be marketing he thinks, manager? You know, right? It's it's being presented in an intellectual way because obviously it's a very serious question. Yeah. So he's saying this is an opportunity for me to be intellectual, and and he's woefully underprepared. Like like all narcissists, he's going to over exaggerate and overestimate his capabilities and his skills. So here, when he thinks. I can be smart here. I can look like I'm smart and know what I'm talking about. It's like, well, you can't because they're not necessarily saying, right, should they all, you know, if, if you express a pedophilic flaw, you are immediately executed. They're not saying that. They're saying you're morally accountable. If, if a friend comes up to you and says, hey, I'm, I, I keep thinking this, you might go, right, therapy now, you know, and that's holding that person accountable. Yep. It's not necessarily <laughs> right in front of a judge, death sentence, gas chamber or whatever, you know, it's, 
it's it's a nuanced argument and he's not got the intellectual capability to engage with it to the extent it needs so he comes off well like phil <laughs> we're saying yeah. something like if you don't act on it it's fine so okay yeah think whatever you want mm. it's fine no man. And intrusive not... thoughts are like a, a serious thing you yeah, sorry. Anyways, um, also Forensic real quick, Sun, yeah, Sunny V2, uh, Amberlynn Reed video was on there. He says, okay, hold on. I'm going gonna, gonna to say this right now. <laughs> We're not playing anything from Sunny V2. He's an asshole, misery merchant. Mm. He's talking about, I don't know where this is going, this video. So that's out. And is Sunny V2 that much different from like his people he blows, like June the King and stuff? Are they that much different? I don't really know. Mm. I don't. Sunny V2 is not good videos for me. But what do you guys think? You have yeah. watched I, I don't like him at all because yeah. he pretends like he's doing documentary type videos, but it's just thinly veiled his opinions. And yeah. he's trying to mask it as oh, this is subjective. And I got to this conclusion through th thoughts and analysis when he's inherently biased going into the video. And you can find <laughs> multiple videos about that. There's a video on Ninja. There's a video on the Mr. Beast, etc., etc. Yeah. It's shitty videos, but... Uh, it's somebody who brings the madness of DSP to a larger audience. So whenever he makes a DSP video, I would watch it and yep. I give it a thumbs up because yep. uh, it makes DSP salty. But uh, as far as his videos are concerned, I don't like them and they're pretty sloppy. The sort yeah. of YouTube fluff, aren't they? You just yeah. call on to have something yeah. on. <laughs> but um, I think he's done DSP twice. I think he did an early one of his earlier videos was about DSP, and then he had a mention of him, like in a. Yeah. I think it was the apologies or the most controversial moments or something. Oh, okay. But yeah, he's had two. I think. So that's yeah. enough. It's a, yeah, yeah. yeah, one of them is the most hated streamer. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. Also known like as like, yeah, yeah. why do people hate DSP that much? And the other one is top ten most hated YouTubers, something like that. Yeah. 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 Great. But Top his things. videos are good if you want to get a quick recap on some internet drama that you don't really care about because it's like mm. a 10 minute video and you just get your info in and you, you carry on with your day. It's nothing special. Yeah. Oh, but if that was about Keemstar, he would have watched the whole fucking thing. Oh, you yeah. got damn right about that. Say, yeah, say. If, they were, if they were not, no, it's cool. Like, yeah, I'm glad you said that because, yeah, if, if this guy hadn't have covered DSP at any point and it was, it was just someone he, he was new to, he'd be happy to watch it. But well, it's just because there's a you know there's a there's a DSP reference and or like you like you say if he's slagging off someone that DSP hates then he probably would have been cool with it. But yeah, he's just uh, yeah he's just bitter. And but the, I like the idea of Phil reacting to Amberlynn. So if someone could like no, keep, give, give, give him a good Amberlynn video that he's not done instantly skip because I want to hear how he handles that because you know he'll oh, the only thing he'll be thinking of is that she's she's big and that kind of stuff like oh this is just a fat youtuber but so i think he's gonna have to really struggle to not talk about that when that's thing he thinks that's all he wants to talk about i think so i want to kind of no, hear see, that I, I, I think this means he knows about amberlynn and the comparison oh, okay that could be too, yeah. she's a raging narcissist as well so she is she is the closest to know. person to phil on the internet i have found and I, yeah, it's yeah. not even that's she not a joke email dsp yeah, <laughs> yeah that if is phil female DSP. fighting games yeah he would have been People say that like LTG is a black DSP. That is not even true. The, the LTG is so different than DSP. It's not even funny. But Amberlin is very much like DSP. Incredible amounts. If you haven't watched mm. anything from DSP, watch the fucking – what's his name? Snow. Mr. Snow or something. He does good shit on, on, on her. It covers it well. It's, it's, that's a good fucking video about her. Uh, Mr. Snowflake, I think. Check it out, though. It's good. Um, anyway. hey, hippie, hippie Grandma yeah. does as well. Hippie, Dama, hippie Grandma is a – Good <laughs> Battery exhausted says DXP is a snitch. That's a reference to last night. The snitch. <laughs> the snitch <-inator. laughs> yeah. Someone said, someone said he's yeah, we're gonna make the snitch and it's powered by Jim Beam. Because <laughs> talking about Phil drinking. <laughs> That's amazing. It's great. Uh, all right, so let's talk about the zero dollar stream. I'm team that doesn't count as a zero dollar stream. What team are you, gentlemen? Does that count as a zero dollar stream? I know no. it should, but I don't follow, I don't believe no. it yet. No, yes, if it doesn't you. say zero dollars on the on the bottom of the screen, then no, no, it's it's <laughs> yeah. it's it's great that it happened, whatever. But no, it's 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 no it's no fun if it's if it says twenty dollars. Nah, it didn't. Yes, don't agree, count. Agree, agree. It's never gonna, it's never gonna say zero dollars. Sorry, mate. <laughs> uh, if if you can make the logical jump between being a uh, fourth place and making that a first place, <laughs> then you can make the logical jump between. A twenty dollars stream actually being a zero dollars stream. Yeah. So using DSP's logic, this definitely was a zero dollars stream. <laughs> but yeah, objectively looking at it, it wasn't. Yes. Sorry, but, the yeah. entire stream, no donations. Pre pre 
preloading the tip jar. It's not the same. I agree, it's, agree, it's, agree. It's totally only agree. if he knows a tip is coming will he start at zero dollars. Otherwise, he'll preload it. And if throughout the entire stream, not one single tip. So I'm team zero. <laughs> and the interesting part of this that. was there was no real begging. There was some begging, but not like extreme levels. Then this because we talked about Thursday. This was uh, this was the stream that this is the one after the first low one that he blamed on detractors, right? I believe. Yeah, the zero dollar yeah, stream was. was a day after the stream. He said that all the detractors are the people that made him play this game. They chose for that game to be run. Amnesia, right? Amnesia, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And because of the detractors, made sure the chat was all negative, and that's what led to no one donating. All right. So because of that, this big ops we did, long ops, six months ops, mm. and then we went to the next hard work. The next day, a lot of planning. That's when he's like, "Okay, we're fuck it. I'm like, people. Are, they want me to wage quit. Well, fuck that." They're fucking idiots. I don't care how much we get donated. I'm going to keep playing it. And yeah, he, he said actually too. said wage quit, too. Yeah, yeah, he said wage quit. Yeah, yeah. So he, oh, God, he is so in tune with everything the tractors do. Don't you ever forget that. Mm. <laughs> but he said in these, these words, everything I've done is anti-profit. Everything I've done is anti-profit. <laughs> <laughs> I do everything to not make money. That's what he said. I do everything. But that's to fucking not make stupid. Money. Sorry. That's what the sort of excuse is that? That's fucking stupid. I mean, it's kind of true in that he puts no fucking effort into anything, but also, yeah, like, true, yeah. this is but the man that, like yeah. that never fucking stops asking for money. So, you know. But the reason he didn't, the reason, it, it, you know, he didn't beg as much. It's because you know he he didn't he he made a big deal about it the day before and he, he knew he couldn't give up on the game so he knew he had to just be <laughs> chill throughout the stream and you know maybe begging does work then maybe if he had asked for money more then maybe he'd yeah that's what he thinks I'm sure oh, he's does. fine because he's about to get paid by YouTube. Yep, he still won't worry about that. He spent how much on the? He's on a fucking spree too. DJ TJ Gamebox has it on his Twitter, of course. It's yeah, over four yeah, digits now, over. right? It's over a grand now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Over a thousand dollars spent on D WWE champions over the last week, so that's where your hard-earned money's going. Uh, uh, fans of DSP, uh, mm -hmm. Phil also said, uh, he said this what he said you won't clip. He's on this whole rant. He's like, you won't clip this because this makes you guys look stupid. And I was like, okay, everyone on Earth clipped it. All possible yeah. clippers had that quote because it's too crazy. <laughs> and he said, if they try to push this narrative. That if you like Phil's content, you must ride the small bus, which is not the right term, if you guys know. Oh, didn't you, didn't he say the short bus? I thought he said small bus. I, that's uh, what I thought it was funny because I heard small bus. Well, uh, let me know, chat, if you if, you know, if I'm the... wrong on that. But yeah, it's supposed to be short bus is the correct term. It's where what? special needs students get on the uh, bus. Special right. in America, they get a special thing yeah thank you gecko yeah he said small bus but the term is really? short. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes that's what makes it funnier so he said small bus they joined the small bus but he, meant short bus. <laughs> Max oh, he actually coming. did yeah <laughs> he said small bus they took a little tiny bus they think that if you like days is kind of you take the small bus but um, that's just the narrative okay just, just, i would say a, a clown car more like yeah clown car <laughs> exactly <laughs> Check the to, tape. to highlight kizzy max comment and then like 10 people in his chat admitted they rode the short bus to school oh <laughs> <laughs> i gotta see that for sure or not it's funny but i don't know if i believe that is short <laughs> bus is the correct word for it for sure uh, big ups hate army says next phase of our plan begins execute order 1651 that's what we need right Sam, you, heard you got it, it for us go. uh, i believe so yeah okay hopefully. here we go let's listen yeah. let's do yeah. the tape let's go to the videotape let's go live okay. i'm you going to the var just really fucked up stuff what they don't realize is that they don't look in the mirror and look at themselves and realize only people you know the who would act the way that they act those are the people who have the problems not the people who genuinely enjoy positive content that's a normal person the person who doesn't, who's, who's making awful jokes, who's totally always trying to create a toxic narrative, you're the one with the problems. But that they won't look in the mirror at themselves. They refuse to be self-aware of anything going on around them, but the one they say Phil's not self-aware. They're the worst yes! case of that on the internet, but they want to pretend like I'm the problem or my viewers, my positive supporter viewers are the problem. No, you're the problem. If you went away... I'd be I don't know. I don't know if that's if it's coming. It's coming up. up it's it, coming up. It's coming up. Is it I coming? Think. Right. Okay. I cool. think so. I think so. Be happy, and so would everyone else on this planet. Literally, if all the toxic shit about me on the internet vanished, the world would be a better place. Yeah. But they don't want to admit that again. They don't want to look inward. They can't because the nah, moment they look, look inward, inward, they realize they're the biggest hypocrites. 
I hate they looking would, at their minds would explode. <laughs> it's ridiculous how nasty they are and can't realize it. And then they try to, they literally try to project their <laughs> shortcomings onto others as if they're the ones with the problems. No. Yeah. No, you fucking idiots. What are you talking about? Right? Yeah. So, I really think it's coming. I think. I'm, I'm totally Maybe not. okay with having a bad stream last night for support. And mm -hmm. Is it alarming? Yeah, it is. I was surprised. Well, well, I think, okay. Wow. Is it alarming? I yes, it is. It was a low support stream. I think it might be here. Jokes, okay, okay. Things that are uh, outside, there we go, yeah. totally offensive. There we go. Like, wow, you must ride the small bus if you like Phil's content. You must, you know, <laughs> just really fucked up stuff. What there we go. <laughs> He's ever <upset>, set though. Goal. <laughs> <Okay>. That's a goal. <laughs> yeah, VDK, I'm already planning the seven hour video over this. <laughs> <laughs> and like on the chat. <laughs> God damn it. Amazing. <laughs> All right, so moving on. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, I would like to say that there are some people that say that. I mean, the term "dentehead" doesn't exist for no reason. But that's because know, yeah. we've actually oh. seen what those people post on the internet. And when somebody says that his fans are degenerates, we can point them to people like Derek or the villain or people that are wait just they're, they're putting themselves out there with their degeneracy. And then. Yeah. More and more of those people become exposed of being DSP fans and doing all that shit. And it, it gives his whole community a bad name. And that's why people call him like that. Here's one thing you can say that's a, without a doubt. The people that are proud to be DSP fans are always something is incorrect. With it something about way. them. Yeah. These you know are always saying? people starved of like a proper social Starved network. of something. Yeah, starved of something. So let's who's like the biggest like DSP fans? And you tell me when I say someone that's, you know... I'm not trying to be offensive, but you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have K K KG Galleon, which is you. His exploits are all over the fucking place. Probably the most normal one, but he's not even normal because, as we know, Air Raid Lord. Enough said. Mm -hmm. uh, Good interview, Derek, though. Derek. Enough said. Jade. Oh, I see. Slayer. Oh, I see. Is probably the I most would argue normal because like, money. Actual, <laughs> genuine, like acceptance of Jade. Amongst this community, most people yeah, are like, no, we, Jade's fine. J Jade, yeah, like, people yeah. like Jade. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'd Snow Carl, I will always stand up for because he just seems to be the one who's most aware of this. Yeah. With the way he asks Phil certain things, he, he is aware of this whole thing. Yeah, he just seems to be you doing know? his own thing, though, doesn't he? Because he, I don't think he mm. really get, he's not a detractor. He's, he's no, just like on, he, yeah. off on his own. Like he likes winding mm. him up, but he's not on yeah. this he's side. Rogue. So it's, he's a rogue, yeah. rogue squadron. Rogue mm. something. He's, he's a, a cuck, friend. though. He's <laughs> cucking out the DSP. He's being his. Yeah. Imagine letting DSP power trip on you and call you names after you give him a dollar to try and convince him into going into some random weird uh, yeah. like, tantrum. Yeah, I'm not saying he's cool. I should have made that clear. He's not cool. He's a rogue, rogue that's still giving DSP money for his. For some reason, he gets out of it something. I don't think it's fully he's chaotic like, I neutral. DSP. Yeah, like he's chaotic be. neutral. Yeah. <laughs> Ira says the uh, Tears of the Kingdom stuff was golden because we saw normal people become detractors in real time over the course of minutes and destroys this exact narrative. Yes. Yeah. That's another thing. You it, just like when he's in FGC, the majority of people think that DSP is not cool in some way, and they have a lot of reasons to do that. I know Phil likes to push the narrative of that this is how you don't play is what ruined him, but we have so many examples now of lots of people yeah, not like being right fans of DSP. In my head, as you walk into the Dentsy Scrolls, as you pass through the gate, over above them is written, why is nobody getting a car ride with DSP? Because it's DSP. Yes, that, and that was that, said that, in 2006. That, 2006, <laughs> people said, why aren't you getting around with DSP? Next answer, because it's DSP, and that's the end of it. Phil has never been re – this is kind of an interesting topic I want to talk about today. Phil's all is, is is the real thing Phil wants is acceptance, but that's the one thing he can't get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he tries to uh, get around that by short term gains of, of, of happiness. For example, I want tips. I want WB champions is perfect. Cause I get this quick hits, yep. but he can never find that place to fit in and he's never found it. And he hasn't even found it on his job now, even though he makes so much fucking money. He doesn't fit in there either. It's just five or six people that are giving him enough money to live, but it's something. It's interesting. We're never going to find just, the truth. It, you know, with him, it, it just seems like like this isn't for him. You know, this is mm. he should just be in a nine to five job. He should just be in a cubicle, and just yeah. no one should know about him really. But because you know, he clearly doesn't care about what he's doing. He doesn't put any effort into it at all. You know, he's just there, to, like you say, and I think he just wants that. 
that um, acceptance and he wants people to to like him and all the rest of it. And yeah, he he, he should. Uh, but really, yeah, he, he he should. No one should know who DSP is. No one who should know who Phil Bonnell is. Yeah. Yep. That's new. That's a very good comment. Phil cannot find acceptance because that requires authenticity and he acts inauthentic in order to fit in. That's exactly there you go. right. Yep, exactly. There you go. That's much better than, than what I just said. Yeah. How many times <laughs> have we seen Phil say, oh yeah, I smoke too much dope, dudes. Phil, yeah, Phil's totally wasted. Oh yeah. When we get done, yeah. <laughs> <Twitter> <laughs> we get done creeping on 14 year old ball girls. Yeah. Right guys. <laughs> That's what all guys do. Right guys. Yeah. Phil can't ever be authentic amongst other people. We've seen like moments on on video where he has been like his real person, but um, where we see like that that's the real Phil, the most toxic bits of him. But he can't ever be authentic in into personal things because it requires opening yourself up and showing people this is like the real me. Mm -hmm. And and as he's insecure, he can't he, he can't ever risk that being out there so nowadays like we've said before this is an act this is boring this is this isn't the real phil this old mature thing going on this is his paper over the cracks of, of the real phil underneath and he can't ever like express that because he's just too scared of doing that he's too insecure but we see it like when he was like um like he, he'd, he'd be watching the old videos he did with Rambo in bed sometimes, yeah. you know, and, and all that. And he's like, so he still wants it. Like, and like all humans, he wants social interaction, wants social relationships. You need friends. We need family. We need partners to get through life. But he can't ever open himself up and be authentic to the point where that is achievable. So instead, he has to just get drunk and cope and, and longingly watch old videos and be jealous of other people. God. <laughs> A good uh, reason. Speaking of which, he did, we did get a bit on that insecurity with his uh, his new his new look, his new hair. It's all <laughs> a lot of variety coming in terms of DSP streams these days. With the fluff, the fluff is coming in hot. Uh, so that's uh, big ups clip curated for the raid. Uh, I want to say this though that he has <laughs> kept this narrative Sorry. for so long of how he still for his insecurity is blaming other people. Right. So I'm sorry. Even, we, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. We've still got that clip video, the, the video visible here on our screen, and all I could see is Phil with his like fluffed up hair and that shirt. And it's oh god, the shirts. <laughs> it's quite a good freeze frame, actually. There you go. Everyone. There he is. <laughs> there <you> go, yeah. <laughs> where, where, dude, where did I leave my car tire? <laughs> That's Mad Libs. <laughs> no, not Mad Libs. What's it called? You make the caption. Caption this big picture at chat. Mm. Uh, but yeah. yeah, so he said, uh, big up Nate Rivers. So when Phil gets mad and his filter can't be bothered and he whines endlessly about Zelda on ring and pretends after he didn't say that. Also, team midlife crisis. Yeah. Right. That's <laughs> something. It's definitely that that could be said. These shirts, you know, you guys are loving this. I'm gonna implement these new shirts. <laughs> and someone said the best. Forty one. <laughs> it looks like he's leaving the AA meeting. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> another meeting, successful guys. We're on day three. <laughs> oh, it'd be great to get another uh, another thumbnail picture from from this era now with him in in one of those shirts. Pulling yeah, we got to get Darcy on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It looks, like, it looks like he's at a friend's wedding, <laughs> like a co-worker's yeah. wedding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The guy that hangs out at the bar the whole time, you know? Yeah, I'm loving this. <laughs> God. I just love to also, see him with his, yeah. like, fluffy hair, just like with that. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing no, Phil, great. Take the cowboy hat off. Phil, take the cowboy hat off. <laughs> yeah. Don't fit. Take the cowboy hat off. I can't think of it. <laughs> Uh, Reno Ryan says, I love when Phil was like, you guys seem to like my look, and then I shower for you guys. Yeah. He said, like, you yeah. guys seem to like oh, me. I'm won't... showering. <laughs> showering. You guys are loving this. Unbelievable. You guys oh, are won't... loving this, dude. <laughs> dude. But the hit, uh, go ahead, go ahead, cap. I, I, I was a bigger fan of before he was showering when it was obvious that he just rolled out of bed and sat yeah. in his chair because he still yeah. looks exactly like <laughs> one looks after they just get out of bed. Yeah, but now oh, yeah. showering that's man, that's evolving. He's changing, you guys. It only took him 40 years to realize that showering in the morning is actually energizing and fun, <laughs> and you feel Very better positive. about yourself. Yeah, Very positive, dude. <laughs> Very positive change. Sue, that's a great fucking point. I forgot. He was reluctant to put on that fucking straw hat because it was going to cover up his hair and defeat the purpose of showering. 
So go ahead. Dude, dude. The shower is not about getting clean at all. It is about hair. End of story. It, oh, dude, no, he's Period. showering because they told him to. He's not showering because he wants to be clean. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. He just, yeah. Just they told hair. me they like my hair when it's yeah. fluffy, so I'm going to shower for you guys now. Not, End of not, list. My yeah. hair. Like, it's not like I'm 41 and I should probably be a bit more hygienic. You know, oh, look no. a bit better. It's... Could you imagine? God damn it. Cat, get out of there. The smell on that dude. Mm. He wasn't showered every fucking day. Oily. Rubbed you guys have told me that you like it when I'm hoovering. You know, I'm washing the plates myself. <laughs> and recycling and putting my food in the proper dispenses. <laughs> Sarashi Fresh, yeah. big ups, man. Oh, real quick. He says, I owe film for helping me to get my life together. Went back to study because I was terrified I might be even become similar to him. Meaningful content, for sure. Big ups, dude. Go ahead, Mirka. Yeah, uh, I got reminded uh, right now that it's the summer currently, and he's playing Street Fighter VI. And when he plays Street Fighter VI, he gets really intense and sweats a lot, so he needs to have random air raiding breaks, I guess, if, if that's how you call it, where you just <laughs> you let the, the sweat soak in, and yeah. you relax, and you turn up the AC. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's, swap ass. it's a swap bass defense, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've, you've been <laughs> yeah. hearing that AC a yeah. lot recently. It's, oh, yeah. it's, but it's so aerated. Don't worry, guys. It's aerated. But he has to get up every five minutes to get the swap bass. Big up, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Big up. So Derek, and Ch Derek and Phil's chat said this. DSP Gaming, you were 31 in 2013. Now you're 41. I was 11. And now I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Thanks, Derek. I did not no, know that. No, you were no. 11 years old starting watching Phil Burnell. 11 years yeah, old. But his fans are no, not no, kids. No. He's crazy. They're 40 no, years I mean, old no. now. No, I mean, no, no. Are we, um, are we going to get, let's say, five years from now, the lore that back in the day he used to shower once a week? Are we coming up to that at some point? Because I know the, the shower day is kind of a, a myth. It's like something that you would put on a DSP iceberg. Yeah. Because it's not exactly confirmed, but it's been heavily implied that he has a designated shower day. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think at some point he's going to end up admitting that. But he I needs to start showering shower day, regularly right? for like five sure, years. Yeah. Yeah. I think he did say shower days, though, America. I think that's confirmed. I believe. I think, mm. this, I think if you told him, no, nah, we don't like the sort of fluffy haired look, it doesn't look too good on you, and you should skip the shirts, he would stop. He if wouldn't carry on showering. Yeah, I reckon if enough <laughs> people said, you know, people told him in droves. Uh, no, nah, it's not working for you, Phil. It doesn't look right. You know, your hair's too big. It doesn't look right on you. Um, you know, and, and, and the shirts, they never really suited you. That's why you've never worn them all these years. Yeah, yeah. You would probably go back to, like, one, once a week rolling out of bed. Or maybe he'd, like, schedule it so that, like, some people are telling me... <laughs> Some people are telling me they like my fluffy hair and my shirts, and, but you guys are telling me you don't. So, okay, so Thursdays and Fridays are right, shower guys. days. And... This is my last fluffy hair consecutive day of the week. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go back to not fluffy hair. <laughs> so you guys love it. You guys said you love it. Today it's Street Fighter, as you can tell. I've done my hair for it. <laughs> this is my non-shower day, as you guys know. As you guys can tell. <laughs> Uh, the shirts themselves look terrible as well, though. They look <laughs> very old and used, and they're allegedly new. I'm very confused, because they look like actual grandpa shirts that yes, have been actual. worn, and the fabric looks really bad. Yeah. Didn't he say he got them from, like, whatever the... Is it TJ Maxx over there, not T TK Maxx? TJ Maxx is, like, the most yeah. mom store of all time. Like, yeah. you, you're not going in there by yourself if you're a 41 dude. I didn't think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm... But TJ Maxx is, like... My it's mom was places. there. That's what I remember. Yeah. My mom going there when she was forty. It's like I don't want to be here. That's all I remember. So I'm never it's going one of those back. Places where you can kind of sometimes find something half decent, but most of the time it's just like a like a jumble sale in it. Like yeah, I don't yeah, know. What it's yeah, like yeah. over there. It might Random be different. Stock, but, like yeah. yeah. But, it's just yeah. like whatever clothes, like for you know soccer moms in my mind. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they only get the hotness that Phil finds there. J Dog Big Up says Phil was the air rated lord all along. Yes, he is definitely <laughs> the air rated lord. That's why air raid lord is such a big supporter. People in chat are saying goodwill, but I I haven't seen the the confirmation for that, so I, I can't verify. But that oh, would goodwill. be okay. interesting. Oh, he like got him all goodwill. <laughs> oh, wow, goodwill. Phil with the poor stuff. Shopping yeah. at Goodwill, do the poor guy thing. Cool. I mean, at least then it would actually be vintage and not like you know TK Max crap. But yeah, because apparently he called it vintage. So I don't know. <laughs> vintage. <laughs> How is a polo vintage? Come on. But it's because it was used. Think about it. He he hates Walmart and he thinks Walmart is literally beneath him and is for the dregs of society. But he would buy stuff from Goodwill. 
Which is basically the Walmart for clothes, kind of. But, no, 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 no. Goodwill is below Walmart. Walmart yeah, Goodwill has a... no new stuff at all. So, like, you dump shit off, and they see if it's good enough to sell, and if it is, they'll sell it, and it's for cheap yeah. as shit. That's like, where Goodwill LGR below goes. Walmart. Yeah, yeah. Get his, get his used games from and stuff. <laughs> like, our Goodwill does, like, some of them have electronic stuff, but it's so much small thing now. It's not that big a deal. So, the stuff there is, like, donated from people. Exactly. Yeah. Donated so, shit. That, Nothing that is, is new. strange. Zero news. Yeah, well, there Did you go. Did he say he got it from Goodwill? I think it's because it's cheap, said, though. Phil said, you know, hold on, guys. He... Chat, did he really say Goodwill? Because I don't remember that. I think Goodwill is like uh, a theory, possibly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a way of at least sort of like saying, hey, here's the look that he's got. The they Good don't Will look saga. like they've been bought from certain shops. They look like they come from a charity shop. Because it's filling, it's going to be low effort. It's going to be the cheapest thing. So people are just saying, "Yeah, it's it's that." He looks cheap. He looks like he got it from. He didn't. Oh yeah, see, everyone said he didn't say that. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay. I did not think he's going to Goodwill. I don't see Phil walking in that fucking Goodwill. That's the bottom of the rung for him. That's below Walmart. You go to Goodwill, you got problems. Even the normal people know you can find shit you need there. I need a cheap shirt to get to like you know wear wear this. I would take going there. I don't give a shit. Black Mage says we already got that kind of lore when he said he'd shower on certain days and use a wet rag on his face and lower regions. Otherwise, yeah. See, I remember that. He said he would use a rag, like a horse bath. You know, he used to do that. <laughs> Yeah, he do whore bath method. Get a wet rag, Dude, what wipe, the your, fuck? wipe your junk. Wipe Have your you face. never heard of that? <laughs> Back to work, horse bath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the shower takes less than five minutes. If you want yeah. a quick shower, it takes less than five minutes. Yes, one hundred percent. Why would you not want to do that? You know, just like I, I don't get that at all. I'm a gamer. I'm I just about. <laughs> yeah, you know, I maintain that level of authenticity. <laughs> like I I'm must smell. Yeah. <laughs> right, duty I wash up. myself with a rag on a stick. Oh, no stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Cool. My daddy taught me I can keep my penis clean by getting a mouth on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. I'm not ashamed of it neither. We got good Oh, you know, he was like, he <laughs> was the kid in school who would just like obliterate links of axe everywhere. Oh yeah, you oh, know yeah. it. You don't like this Melia. dude. Yeah, I gave like the perf the the what's it called? Come on. The girls loved it, dude. They yeah. turned shower in a can. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that that's also exactly yeah, why he would use it yeah, because yeah. girls love it, not because so he can smell better. So oh, he would yeah? just yeah, overdo yeah. it because the, the girls <laughs> love this dude. So the Dude, more stream. I put on, the more they love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> loaded on. Everyone's like getting away. Like, oh, okay, which group is DSP? In? Let's go away, go away, go away. You know that's how it working was. Uh, Duty Stream says Phil didn't say goodwill. He said secondhand store. There you go. Okay, he said secondhand store, which uh, could mean anything. But... Yeah, there's nothing bad in secondhand clothes. Uh, no there's doubt. something no bad doubt. in the ones that he bought because they're ugly. And also, yeah. he's sitting there in front of thousands of people. If you include the trolls. <laughs> and he looked like this. I mean, it's an improvement from that shitty uh, mushroom pizzeria T-shirt that is way too small and is falling apart. <laughs> it's it's better, but still, there's still a lot of work to do. Well, you guys love this, and everyone everyone uh, loves it in droves, and they want more of it. That's why he implemented it. Uh, yeah, and and he's asking like he deserves credit for this, which is my favorite part of the whole thing. Like, it's mm. not like you can you know buy a shirt. And the first day, hey, he's a new shirt, guys. Check it out. What do you guys think? All right, cool. The whole week, he gets every day he says it again. You have to go through the same thing. It's like, all right, that's <laughs> – like every podcast week, I think he has topics, and he like has to go through all those topics every single day. There's no changing. Mm, yeah. So he'll have different news stories, but then every, everything else is the exact same. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm in funny shirts. So you see my hair? And he's like, oh, my God, his hair touching is out of control. The fucking fluff hair touching? Yeah, yeah. If you get that the... counter going, you go nuts, man. Oh, my God. And also, we didn't talk about it yet, but we did get the whole uh, "I'm not confident with myself," uh, and it's not because of just you can't say that. Not like even that. Hey, I have low confidence, guys. It's because what? why? Another chance to blame other people. Why not take it, right, motherfuckers? Because no one ever told nope. me I was good looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Therapy now. Therapy <laughs> now. You never told me. No one ever told me I was good looking. You still haven't told me. So. Like, yeah, like the, 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 the hair touching, just very briefly. I'm, I, I yeah. think he's doing it a lot because he's never like I. When my hair feels good, when it's clean, I like to play with it a bit. You know, it's, it feels good to sort of run your hands through it, play with it a bit. Like, this is pretty good. He's doing that. He's never felt clean hair, so he's like, "Wow, this feels great. This feels really good." <laughs> Touching yeah, it like crazy. Yeah. 
Uh, I guess for 40 years he thought that his hair being greasy all the time is just him being Italian. Yeah. yeah. He's actually yeah. admitted this. But yeah. also, like, how low are his fucking standards for everything? To be bringing up the fact that you're wearing a clean shirt, you've made up your <laughs> hair in a way that you like it, and expecting people to give you credit for it and give you compliments for it. How low are your standards for anything? And that extends to his streams as well, because uh, we are looking at this freeze frame on the on the stream now. And when he <laughs> first put up, yeah, when he first put up those artworks behind him, he expected people to go crazy and yep. the chat to be flooded with compliments of how amazing, how great it looks. From him, for him trying the bare minimum, and this this <laughs> extends to like, everything he does with his content. <laughs> how Gate Army Big Up says, "How am I good looking? You still haven't told me." <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to run your self-esteem for you? <laughs> Do you want me to run oh. the bath for you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, that was just funny because even that, even something as simple as that, you know, a lot of people love self-esteem, but you don't blame anyone else for it usually. That's not the first fucking words out of your mouth is probably because no one told me. Like, I don't look for an excuse if you have low self-esteem. Let me look for someone to blame you. Oh, okay. hmm. Who can I blame? But again, uh, again, right. No one like, told me, I guess. <laughs> All these self-esteem issues come down to, like, you know, the, your look. And you could do something about that. If you shower more, shave better, and, like, wear better clothes, get a better haircut, you'll you'll start to feel better about yourself. And then you'll be like, I've got a bit of self-esteem now. I don't think I look too bad. It's, it's They're all things he can take care of. They're all things he is responsible for. So yep. it's, it's, it's all because of him. And, again, he can't take it. He can't accept responsibility even for that. So he must be feeling shit because other people didn't tell him, oh, you're doing good, Phil. You're all right. But, you know, the moment he gets a little bit more self-esteem, it goes into it goes directly into arrogance and smugness mm, about yeah. stuff. You can yeah, see yeah. him playing games when he is good or better than somebody in an online game. Let's say he's playing Call of Duty. He gets a couple of kill streaks and he starts feeling like a god and starts shitting on everybody else in the most <laughs> smug and arrogant way possible. Yeah. That's him Let's having self-esteem. Yeah, we mentioned yeah. this earlier. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, he's, he's either fucking moaning, nothing but moaning, like when he's being beaten. But then as soon as he maybe gets a couple of wins, you know, either in a fighting game or first person shoot or whatever it is, he's just an arrogant asshole. Like there's no like mm. chill, like middle ground with him. So, yeah, definitely. Mm. He's not a gracious winner. No. He can't be a gracious winner at all. Or loser, but you have to. But apparently, you have to learn how to take your licks to be a good Street Fighter player. <laughs> but something that he does incredibly well, of course, as you know. There's never any excuses, he says. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the other guy uh, last night, we heard another case of the guy saying, "I don't want to play you because all you do is wow, 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 wow." My controller's dead. Like, <laughs> yeah, my controller. 2007. <laughs> I don't want to hear your excuses, bitch. <laughs> you were even telling him, like, next time we'll play it and you can bring your own stick and then you can't moan about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hear your bitching anymore. Like, people fucking know it, dude. Back then. They call him. They do. Incredible. All right, um, next up, um, how about the uh, the GTA 5 stream, which didn't go well, not even the tier one goal, apparently. Uh, but what was the, what was the hang up there in the beginning, Meerkat, when he couldn't get it started right away or something? Yeah, dude. So apparently, and that may, might be Xbox's fault, but I'll blame DSP for it as well. Uh, because there are a bunch of different editions on the Xbox store, and he didn't know which one to download that is for his Series X. And he spent probably, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes just looking at the screen, bitching about it, showing people the screen back and forth. And of course, that might be the Xbox's fault, but it's his fault for bringing that up on a podcast that people are supposed to listen to and enjoy yes. and just crying about it. And I think in the end, it turned out that it wasn't... It, the, it was actually Xbox's fault, and he had to re-download the whole game as the <laughs> as he was waiting to start playing it. So that was also during the stream. No, instead oh, of God. while he's flapping his gums during the pre-stream, yep. he couldn't do it. Uh, well, then. No, no. <laughs> what I saw is a clip of the game downloading and him talking about doing Q and A because he has plenty of time before he can start <laughs> oh, actually playing God. it. Is this after he had a Q&A in his podcast? Please tell me he had a Q&A in his podcast. Uh, I'm not sure. I would assume so. Yeah, yeah you could just yeah. say yes half the time. You're right most of the time. Duty Stream says, help, he's back. Oh, yeah, we heard that. <laughs> Phil oh, yeah. Lover of oh, oh, Chaos. Oh, God, yeah. There Phil was that Lover guy of, and he was like, why would I care? Out. Why would I care about what your skinny black ass Oh, God, said. yeah. I caught that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We he hear that too. He threw yeah, yeah. it in there. There was yep. no reason to, and he threw it in there. 
So. Oh, race is such a integral part of Phil's mindset. He, but remember, mm. if you don't act on those thoughts, Steve, you're yeah, fine. Yeah, morally accountable. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. if you think things are bad, you think you hate this group of people. If you don't act on it, totally mm. cool. So think whatever you want, yeah. guys. That's what we learned. Yeah, yeah. Hey Sam, um, we actually have the sound bite for the the help one in the Discord. Yep, I'm getting uh, it. So if you can play speak. it for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. It's it's right. a good one. And then he also died in the prologue, which I've never seen anybody do. And uh, the the character for Trevor is called T, and uh, <laughs> the screen said, "Mission failed. <laughs> T died." Which... That's unfortunate. That's still unfortunate. All these years later, for sure, definitely. <laughs> Are, are you calling me because you know I'm on a podcast? Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well. do you want to say hi? Dad of oh. the Dead. Dad of the Dead. Oh. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey. Yeah. No, no, it's Sunday, isn't it? It's not so full. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite Derek quote? <laughs> <laughs> are you more of a uh a, a, a debbie <laughs> debbie dumper fan or tony tenny <laughs> <laughs> yeah. out of the dead do you taste like trader joe tacos <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite ice cream <laughs> <laughs> all right who'll answer those questions later but yeah what were you <laughs> yeah okay i'll, I'll get to answer and get back to you <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right yeah go ahead go ahead sam play that please though yeah, yeah. It's, it's a short little clip hell he's black <laughs> <I'll do. laughs> classic so now phil said that many times now there's so many editions of him saying help he's black but my favorite quote of the whole thing was right he said rich white people would say that <laughs> rich white people would say that so in his mind if you're rich and white you would be saying that yes help he's black mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and phil felt the need to repeat that sounds good sounds good sounds good to me play the uh, character he's play the character anyway yeah last night was a character by the way too so yeah, yeah. but it's changed he's grown since last night <laughs> different person now yeah, yeah. Phil, yeah, good point, Rigel. Phil, on the other hand, would be totally chill with the home intruder. No problem. Black home intruder. <laughs> it's not like he has fucking axes next to his door or anything. You know, whatever, right? Down forward punch <laughs> says, I bathed myself today to see if I still smell. I looked down at my toes. <laughs> I bathed myself today to see if I still smell. I looked down at my toes. Doubt is starting to swell. <laughs> <laughs> should write that song come on that's what you need and yeah and phil by the way is the definition of a rich white guy right i mean mm -hmm. and what his income is not what he has in his hands of course because he mm -hmm. makes sure it leaves his hands as soon as possible so that doesn't count really well he qualifies mm -hmm. for one definitely yeah you're right yeah yeah yep income style yes but yeah how much he gets out of it is a little different as well uh mm -hmm. next also, got, yeah. i mean i wish he would take a submarine to see the titanic <laughs> if, when it comes to rich white guys that would be a, a vlog that I would like to watch. But you can't handle the pressure. Yeah. Oh, way out. This, this, type, this, this, this submarine's going so deep, it's finally time for me to push back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I should have fucked that up. We could have said it better, but anyways. Uh, let's talk about um, this, this crazy... Okay, I'm going to need a lot of help from the chat here. And this, 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 cause Phil had a big fucking thing that is literally insane. I've confirmed it's insane. But I don't have the knowledge to tell you exactly how insane it is. But this is what DSP says. So DSP said, the lower latency you have, that actually means you drop more inputs because of rollback netcode. Okay? Yeah. So let's yeah, say it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he says, when you have lower latency, which means lower ping in your match, okay? So like, you know, ping could be something like 50. But it if it's this. lower than that, it, which you would think is better... Okay, you think that's better. Oh, lower ping, there's less latency between us or connections or whatever, we're good. But he said that makes you drop more inputs, okay? So if anyone doesn't know what netcode, rollback netcode is, um, real quick, what I found, again, it's hard to understand exactly, but rollback netcode is delay-based netcode with added features. So instead of like freezing the game to get all the, you know, the inputs lined up perfectly. Oh, it took a little longer to get this guy's netcode. Let's wait, hold the game. It kind of predicts what, what you're going to do. And it doesn't change anything unless what it predicts is incorrect. 
All right. And the reason it's so correct most of the time is because there's so many times when you can do inputs where the game doesn't even care about it. For example, let's say you're in the middle of getting fucked wrecked by an uppercut. You can push all the buttons you want at that game. The game doesn't give a shit because I have to finish this. I have to finish this uppercut, you know, animation before mm -hmm. I listen to anything else you're telling me. Right. So the game is going to guess that, okay, you're going to do this and I can guess you're going to do that. And then when you do it, okay, cool. It comes up sm smooth for smooth. When you mm -hmm. do something it doesn't expect, then it changes it. Anyway, yeah, right. right, so could quote. someone, maybe you guys know here better than me, how crazy exactly is <laughs> his take of the lower latency have the more drop inputs happen? Because I know it is crazy, but I don't exactly understand how, you know, why? Because we got to be able to say, like, that's how crazy this take is. Like, you know, like, I just don't know it, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, the, the guy who thing... analyzes gameplay described as interesting take. Thank you, Adelie Insane. There we go. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is bad connection, bad. Good connection, also bad. <laughs> Unless I win, then it's good. Yeah, yeah that's I mean, basically my thinking. Yeah, the logic that Phil's operating under is that the lo like poems mystery says on Twitter: the lower the milliseconds, the faster it makes you play. Therefore, it drops your moves because you're having to play too fast. And that's like not how it works at all. <laughs> like the actual quote is it that connection. <laughs> the lower the latency, the lower the milliseconds, the more fucking problems with dropped inputs. I get them all the time. <laughs> it's like hell. No. I think you're right. I think it's just like I can complain. Now I can complain if the connection is bad and I can also complain if the connection is good. Got all the bases yeah. covered, boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what Nobody else do we says, need? Is, is this worse than Jasper Hate in 60 frames though? Ooh. <laughs> do you know what that's been kind of uh, that's been not ruined but like dulled a little bit because like there was a we did get a comment that that says there might be some validity to that so i'm, I'm a bit like oh, okay. oh there is yeah cancel it's, like 60 frames show no, me it's, no it's not show that they me. don't like it they can see like speeds beyond that yeah so okay so they can that doesn't that different. doesn't that doesn't solve shit for me he no, said no, the upgrade like, from 30 frames to 60 frames is what led to Jasper going insane. Yeah. Not not yeah. that they could see more frames. It's the jump from 30 frames to 60 frames. That was exactly yeah. what he fucking said. Yeah. It's like for us watching something that's like 15 or 20 frames, you know, yeah. and you, you can see the, judder, the juddering. We can see where it's like skipping and pausing. So for cats, it would be like that, only it would be slightly different. And he'd he, he know the difference, but it wouldn't be enough to make him start pouring at the screen. He's pouring at the screen because he wants attention from Phil, and he's not getting it. So, yeah. yeah. But still, like, I... It's PS5. Yeah, I think it's, it, it's still it's really fucking the... hilarious coming, you know, just because it's him and yeah. it's because of his history with, with you know, 60 frames and mm -hmm. it's just Silky hilarious. smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Buttery smooth. <laughs> so about this rollback netcode shit, though, that just means yeah. he hates something that he has no idea what it actually does then, right? Can yeah. we assume that? Because remember, he hates rollback netcode. He hates, well, he hates all netcode. Seen. He'll have seen someone on Twitter tweeting about how rollback netcode is bad, and that's it. That's that's yeah. the idea in his head now. And so other people it's, have seen it. <laughs> yeah, it goes. We, this whole thing goes back a long way, doesn't it? The rollback netcode. And there's a lot more to it than just him. Yeah, there's a story there, but the people that made the rollback yeah. netcode, he hates them, I believe. I'm yeah. not yeah. too good on that there's, lore. But there's he hates some, the there's some that history made. there that, that might be worth looking into. You know, but... <laughs> That's a deep dive cut topic <laughs> for sure. <laughs> there you go. Dead schooled. Correct. Um, you, I think you're right. Someone in the FGC actually made it, and they donated it for free. They said here, and like that's yeah, it's become that, industry standard. Yeah, that level of being like a hero for your community. Oh yeah, yeah, they were, they were the mods. They were the yeah. mods on SRK that banned him. Yes. Oh, you're right. Yes, that's it. Full circle, yeah. baby. We oh, get there. there they were the FGC mods that that banned him for being such an asshole, posting pe dick pics and mm -hmm. saying pe transvestite people are abdonishments, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. The fun stuff he does. That's why he had five different names. On the SRK forums, he over different IP times. Band. <laughs> and he tried to make his own website to fight the SRK mm -hmm. top haters because he just couldn't get his all his hot takes on there with the validity he thought and the frequency mm -hmm. he liked. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next thing. How about the Street Fighter this week? And we watching anything of that? I know he got uh, oh, pretty salty salt. about the Street Fighter. But so got, much salt. Are we? Are we? Is we jumped the shark with the Street Fighter yet? Or what do you guys think? Have we jumped the shark with Street Fighter? Are we feeling the Street Fighter burnout? Or are we still liking it? Uh, I'm still liking the occasional clips, but it's clear it's really frustrating, Phil. 
And then the fact that he's not making as much progression as he thought he would, the fact that he's encountering all these people that are better than him, it's going to be frustrating him more. So the salt's going to get worse, and eventually he'll snap. But, yeah, I'm wondering when he goes from, like, yeah, this is great to fuck Street Fighter Six. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. I hate what they've changed. It'll be like maybe in another update, and they'll be like, oh, they've changed everything now. This game's shit. Yeah. They've I really think it's... It. It. It's just one of them, isn't it? Where it's just going to depend on the night. You know, is he getting mm. is he getting a lot of money on that night for one thing, and also like you know, if he just randomly decides, or sorry, if he just randomly has a good night, then okay, we're back on positivity street and everything's right. cool. And, and and now, but then we have like we watched in my stream earlier uh, this Luke thing where he tried out Luke and couldn't get a win to save his life. So you know, mm. it can go either way. And but you know that happens. You, know, you can't. You can't unless you completely insane at the game which he's never going to be because he doesn't play it enough um there's always going to be ups and downs so yeah it's just you yeah know, with him when he's on a down it's gold <laughs> yeah i do have a a list of quotes for Ooh, you guys okay. provided Ooh. by uh poems on twitter so Ooh, full credit goes to poems uh yeah. first one states loses match i didn't lose that match at all <laughs> traditional dsp quote you yeah. won't buy there we go. <laughs> this is my worst night of this game ever. Then <laughs> we have, I don't give a shit about rank anymore. I already lost <laughs> 700 points tonight. What's Ooh. it matter anymore? <laughs> and, and then finally we have, I'm playing so bad tonight. I don't know what the hell is going on. And what? then he had to have an aeration break. As, as I called it. Well, who am I? Oh, that was there? good. When he got up and you could start like hearing moaning as he walked around. Yeah. Oh, that was brilliant. Yeah. He needs to cool down. That's his. That's his new tactic. Is cooling yeah. down. Remember, like yes. that guy told him, "Don't." Yeah. The iPhone told him, "Cool down first. Don't go nuts, dude. Cool down." It's a concept that he's just discovered because someone uh -huh. told him about it in a video. Yeah. Thought like he was. He's acting like he's actually having fights on the street with somebody. The way he's. he's having breaks after street fighter games it's uh it's, it's really funny <laughs> it's always been like that every conflict he has on like the boards are on 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 irc it's like yeah fucking yeah come on let's bring it let's do this let's get hype and everyone's like oh dude we're just fucking about come on it's just like forums and he's like no it's serious oh uh, did he actually say that i'm not tilted i'm just angry <laughs> right, dude, that cannot be real. That cannot be real. Which, by the way, that's another one. I knew there was another one. Tilted. The, that that mm. word is, is is a new one for him. That's 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 right on the up that one. Tilted that coin, everyone. Real? Go on, get he on it. He said that. He said it. He said it's real. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Sam. Tilted, there's a, there's a tweet that I sent in the Discord. It has yep, some great clips it. on it. Uh, oh, if no, you can play it. that out for everybody, I think it's yes. it's some great please great clips. Uh, I, I will put this in the Discord as well because I found it. Oh sweet, excellent! We don't usually do clips and stuff, but yeah, yeah we're doing clips today. Cool. Time show now. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Right in with the news. Go Sam! <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Hopefully, actually, yeah, yeah. This... Oh, can you guys hear that? Yeah, yeah, I could hear that. I give up. Like I could even last week, I could beat every Honda. I can't beat anyone tonight. I can't beat anyone in Diamond. I can't beat a single person in Diamond. Then people are gonna start crying in chat. Right, we get a lean in manual. Every idiot right now. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Who's next? <laughs> oh, badass! Every motherfucker in chat who's being nasty. Really? Oh, watch out! One of you. I don't give a fuck. Wasting my time. Give a fuck. I'm giving a fuck. Don't fucking play the game, bitches. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I love that. I love that. I can play the game, bitches. That was the classic, yeah. Dude, that's uh, elementary school. Elementary. Yeah. That's not even middle school. Dude, can we just sort of like elaborate on that for a minute? Because it's like, why yes. don't you come and play the game, bitches? He's saying to his audience, and when they do on fight game, on community fight nights, he either yeah. goes out of his way to avoid them, like Jade, or he puts the controller down when he gets beat by them. Now what? Do you, you think want us he's to play? not stop playing? <laughs> Who's that master can or whatever? That dude's a legend. Yeah. You want to see? You want to see me play? Luke, I was trying it. to play, bitch. Now you put the controller down. What now? <laughs> I'm trying to talk like Ski Sonic did last night. 
What yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you come to handle Ski Sonic. You fucking own. Ski Sonic a legend. We got to get Ski Sonic on the fucking show. Yeah, apparently people were trolling him with the classic red face droopy eyes emote yeah, that he yeah. can't yeah, really yeah. ban because it's a YouTube native emote. So that's that's a, a fantastic way. If you want to <laughs> rub him the wrong way, that's that's how you go. It. People are doing that to Wings too. I saw that at Wings. Mm. Yeah. The red droopy faces. Ban everyone doing the red droopy faces, but you can't. You know, you can't do it. So I just don't get his, his logic is so pathetic as well because he's like you you you're uh, distracting me, and it's like your TV's over there, and your laptop <laughs> yeah. is clear, and you have mm. to you have to look down, and I just there you go. Everyone's on, spamming dude. it now. <laughs> Come on, don't ban everyone. If I see it, you're banned instantly. Don't even ask. My eyes take care of that. <laughs> and like I said earlier, though, like imagine if I know you can't just stumble on your stream and just start chatting because there's the 24 hour thing. But imagine yeah. if you could. Imagine if yeah. on the somehow they they could do that. You know, they'd done the 24 hours and they'd just go right. I'm going to chat on this stream. I was watching you play Street Fighter the other night and I want to join in. Uh, oh, everyone's spamming the red droopy. Oh, I'll do that, and then you banned instantly. It's like <laughs> great show. Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> What a great community we have here. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I found the tilted quote, so that's in the, the Discord. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Go, oh, go, go next. Keeps, oh, we, keeps we going. To next to up, we got more from DSP yeah. Salt. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to this. TBS versus the internet. <laughs> Sam, play clip number two. Remember, guys, <laughs> if you want to support the stream, so many ways you can do so. Yeah. <laughs> Not mixing Phil into it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Ultra exactly. members, of course. We'll play your yeah. videos all the way through. If, you, if I'm interested. And... Lou Boss Mali, in- you can can <laughs> submit a video if he wants. We'll get, we'll definitely play it. Yeah, Lou Boss oh, Mali will definitely uh, play your video all the way through, I, I as long as we understand L- it. Lou Boss <laughs> definitely qualifies for private video, so <laughs> yeah, you can get one from each of us. I'll react to whatever you want to send me your request. <laughs> Please make it K-pop. <laughs> 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 make him hot and, uh, sorry Chu, I just, this is a reward i gotta do it i'm watching k-pop Chu walks in just, just be careful <laughs> though because cool. you're gonna get like like five minutes of alt five minutes of sound five minutes of makeup and then like two and a half hours of- <laughs> <laughs> dude injured is saying i submitted this clip i did not okay very good anyone messing <laughs> anyone fucking with snood is gonna get out of here i'm tired of it all right i'm seeing it too much i don't care who why does it matter to you guys why are you worried about it Oh, God, Snood is the derish of this community. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Of course. I'm so sorry, Snood. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, play it, Sam. Hit right, that, this, hit this second one of the uh, poems to listen to. I dropped it. I fucked it up. All right, I'm going to ban every single one of you spamming right now. I am. Because I can't. How much does it concentrate on the game when you got four million idiots in the chat spamming fucking Four million people. idiots! No one's saying anything intelligent at all. If you keep doing it, I'm just going to stop getting every single person doing it starting right now. Every one of you. You're going to be out of here permanently. How am I supposed to fucking concentrate? Idiotic. Idiotic. Absolutely idiotic. Chew that water, Phil. <laughs> idiotic. Absolutely idiotic. Is it, he Absolutely took off the glasses idiotic. by this point. He's like, even like, fuck the glasses. I need to concentrate now. Oh, when yeah. you're at the point when even your glasses are like a reason for you losing, <laughs> you're fucking done. They're supposed like, to be dude. gamer glasses as well. It's supposed to help you. <laughs> like, this is not, like, I don't think this is good playing that fucking Street Fighter for his mental health. You know, just stop it's playing not, it, man. I, I just don't, it's not good for the mental health. Because, like, he, tr- mm. if he's playing for, you know, chill, and like, all right, I'm losing, I get raging. But he, like, legitimately wants to be good and, like, wants to be seen as good. So he's mm. endlessly fighting for that fucking master, but he can't get it. So it's, like, it's going more and more crazy. Uh, but, yeah. Like, uh, think about it. Uh, I got a quick philosophical question. Now that Sam mentioned uh, chewing the the water, <laughs> if he's chewing the water, is he taking a sip or a bite? Ooh, ooh. Hmm. that's ooh, one Sam's for chat, got... I guess. Leave a comment with your response. Sam's got dual cat action over there. Never seen that. Yeah, I, I got. I can have the door open today, so it's a, and this is an official cat stream today. Oh, uh, cool! Yeah. They can come in whenever they want. Of course, yeah. it's their choice. Of course, yeah. it's if their they're choice. available. If, if they're, they're available. available, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> yeah. This is their cat eligible stream today. Oh, great! Wife must be working. Okay. <laughs> All right, but, but, but Mirkat, what is it, does, is it taking a sip if you bite the water? Well, we, if we can have a more hype name for him down, but what do we say? And why mm. was here's a question? Why was "take a sip" such a legendary quote? Like now it's just like that's top three. Tevin, uh, no just a like delivery, it. I think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I guess that's the it. Delivery. And the, 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 uh, the what comes it, after te- it as well, the sleazy asshole. Just, just everything. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, because DSP was like being very smug. Devin got pissed off and he told him, You better take a fucking sip, you sleazy asshole. Yeah, midlife yeah, crisis. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, comedic timing is the best way to say it. Yeah, Meerkat is yeah. saying the same thing. Yeah. How about this? What's the like, most. No, it's, it's, it's like Raven's bitch. It's just the delivery of it. Bitch. <laughs> too yeah, good. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> better take a sip. Delivery. All right. Right, we've got another up. one to. Yeah, to go ahead, please. Team. Okay, all right, just give me a sec. <clears throat> Sam's missus is doing a shift at Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Gene's, Gene's store. Don't spread nuggets of truth. Gene's store, guys. We know that now. Oh, right, yeah. Gene's right, store. Okay. Here we go. No, I'm not getting tilted. I'm just angry because. Oh, hang on. I'm two times speed. I'm I'm just angry. Yeah, uh, just second on the taking a sip thing. So, this was yeah. in relation to the, the Be Awesome One doxing thing. And yes. that's when he took a sip. And Tevin was salty as fuck, and he said it. So yes. there you okay. go. That, that's the context. The lore is out now, yes. Yeah, okay. Right. There we go. Random jump hits me with a neck kick for no reason. I can't block it, and he wins because he fucking jumps like a scrub. Bullshit. Lucky motherfucker didn't earn his win once again. Lucky. Spam <laughs> Hail, Hail Mary level three, which I didn't realize wow. he had. I don't even know if he had had it or if he had just earned it. It's literally all the excuses. Mm -hmm. Then a lucky neck kick jump in that it won't let me fucking block. Okay. Even the Thank clapping. You. No, I'm not getting tilted. I'm just angry because. Lucky neck kick. Yeah, what's a lucky neck like, kick? I feel like she'll be mid tier with counter hits, but I don't think like she's gonna get. She's gonna get yeah, a lot of stuff that though. should that should be. Yeah, anyway. yeah, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not getting like, tilted. I'm just angry. Here's the question: If you guys play the game and it, and, it, and like you have this many problems with it, like I'm not playing that game anymore. Yeah, stop. like pretend yeah. the excuses are real for a second, which we know they're not. Pretend all of a sudden, seemingly every match, you shit just doesn't happen the way you're hoping it happens. I'm not playing the game anymore. Then we've all bought a crap yeah. game where we've been like, <laughs> I, I just can't with this game. You know? Yeah, but for whatever reason, I'm not clicking with the controls. It's it's not doing what it, what I want. I'm not, I'm not getting it. I'm not having fun. Yeah, I, to I be fair. On. Yeah, to be fair. Like when I try and play fucking FIFA online, when I do get the two weeks worth out of content out, you know, of, of use out of it, and then I'm bored <laughs> um, <Yeah>. every year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I don't like what it turns me into. You know, like you, you like like moving close to the TV and like yeah, you, know, yeah. you want to fucking yeah. throw the controller and all that. Shit. And I yeah. don't I don't like it. My missus certainly doesn't like it either. Um, so I get oh, it. Sam's, that's why, uh, Sam's a rager. We gotta see it. Yeah, that's why as a preventive measure, I never play FIFA online yeah, or yeah. pretty much all <laughs> online games. Yeah. Uh, but Tilted has an extra bit of meaning to it. So it's you're angry while playing an online game. And also that makes you make mistakes. So this was yeah. what he was making an excuse from. So he's not making mistakes because he's angry. He's making yes. mistakes because he is not making mistakes. The other guy is just cheating. Yes. And yes. he's yeah. having Kale Marys and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Hail Mary Amazing level cheap. three. Because yeah. it's like, you have to save a level three. It's not just something you can do out of nowhere. You have to plan for it because you have to conserve your, 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 your energy. So it's not a Hail Mary. You're yep. keeping it back. You're planning to do it at some point. And uh, I get it when you guys are saying that he should drop the game, but this is the one game he's supposed to be actually good at. And it's a game yes. that comes out every once, what, five, six, seven years. Yeah. So he yeah. got to milk it for everything it's worth. Yeah. I think that's why he puts he just puts him in a really tough position, like mentally, you know, like he, he knows he should be performing, he knows he should be it should be entertaining, um, but it turns him into this and he's just in this like rock and rock and a hard place situation. Yep. Yeah, that's and, and why it turns him into this Sorry, quickly. Uh because yeah, so much of his ego and who he is is tied up in Street Fighter. So yeah. The fact that reality keeps slapping him in the, slapping him in the face and going, "You are not good at this. Other people are better than you," is 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 really clashing with his ego that says, "I'm good at this. I should be good at this." So much of me is invested in Street Fighter. It's part of who I am, and reality is just like, "Yeah, but you're not that good. Other mm. people are better," and it's killing yep. him. And yeah, yeah, exactly. it's, it's like he's not a good player because like it's hard to get to the rank he's at. I know you can do it mm. if you have time and stuff, but like he just he can't be he doesn't want to be average at anything, right? He wants to be known for being a good. That's the mm. thing. He wants to be known for being good. I want to be known for being good. And he's been like that for 20 years. I want to be known for being good at this fucking game. And he can't get it. And then we see the salt. So it's good for us in the end. But I mean, mm. it's really attached to his whole personality, right? This whole identity is wrapped yeah. up in this fucking game. 
yeah. And this Street yeah. Fighter, I, I'm I'm fourth place Street Fighter Evo. Everyone respected me, and we know that's not the case. Yeah, people said you did a good job, but no one was fucking talking to him. Like, no one respected him. <laughs> he was he not. Like, yeah, yeah. But. Big difference between how Justin Wong and all those guys were treated back on those fucking forums, and that's what drove Quit and Phil the most crazy. The mm, most yeah. crazy. Why are we sucking Alex Vice's dick? I mean, what? <laughs> Who cares? Not that good, you know? Like yeah. endlessly. Mm. I mean, that's, this, you know, if, if he was like a, if he was like legit and, you know, everything was by the book sort of thing, this would be his bread and butter. You know, this yeah. would be his main thing. He'd be playing it all the time. He'd be playing it offline. Um, but he's just kind of like, you know, over the years, he just lost his way and chased the, the other, the other stuff. And, you know, history is what it is. Um, and I think that maybe he's playing into it as well. You know, he knows that it should be what he's doing, what he's known for. And but you know, you you chose the path that you're you're currently on, and this is where we're at. Yep. <clears throat> and the support has been down, by the way, for sure. Like Duty said, last eleven streams, the average tips is sixty dollars. So I mean, it's fine. It's not, like, but for Phil, that's low, and especially because Street Fighter is definitely low. I mean, that's becoming dangerous so i wonder how he's thinking that so it was a lot of this next week could be hype right because we're getting the convolution of a uh, what's that word convolution i can't remember confluence. The confluence of a lot of different things coming together here because low slow support streams coming in street fighters going like shit and he's already started this gta which didn't go great so if they all continue to go bad we're gonna have a good next week in my opinion, but we'll see. You never know how it happens. Uh, you could have a big whale out today, and then it's, you know, he's back to normal. A uh, battery exhausted, which Super Scuffer says, I'd like to imagine someone at Capcom who hates Phil watching his stream and trolling him in real time, actually not letting him block. <laughs> God, that would be the best. I told you guys. <laughs> so who cares? Oh, he's going to come back, hit the lag switch. Yeah. <laughs> lag switch, <laughs> boys. Give him the low ping. That means less inputs happen. <laughs> then give yes, him the high the ping. <laughs> yeah. Get the low ping and the high ping. Disable then... blocking now. <laughs> okay, now. God. All right. Adelie Insane says, what happens when MK comes out? Will he play both? Oh, he'll play both because fighting games. He's got to do it. You I think know, he'll, so. he'll, he'll, he'll be playing Street Fighter by the time he gives up Mortal Kombat because he's never really been into Mortal Kombat the same way as he gets into Street Fighter. So... Yep. He'll play yeah. Mortal Kombat as well, but then he'll, after a while he'll be like, I get what you guys are saying. There's too many fighting games. You know, we've got this, we've got this. So, okay. God, that's what you guys are saying. Uh, uh, and so let's get to... Three RPGs, remember. So see what you're saying. And he's, he's, he's playing out. GTA Five now, which was, oh yeah, everyone mm. just dying for it. Please play GTA Five, Phil. Everyone's waiting for GTA Five again. Can't wait for that. Like, I don't know why he chose that. I guess there's no uh, thinking. Because oh, uh, GTA Six is now in production, so... Oh, yeah. Now is so a good in, time to do in it. In six years, we'll play GTA yeah. 6, and then we'll remember this playthrough finally and give more money. <laughs> the best bit's uh, going to be like when he's like, well, GTA 6 is nearly coming out, and I've just finished GTA 5 replay, so uh, uh, you know, people are saying they don't want too many open-world games at the same time. The fucking devs are idiots for releasing it now. <laughs> well, uh, also, it was a poll. People a poll, voted for that. Yeah, Which was, poll, yeah. I mean, if you think of the the other games that were in the poll, it's also terrible choices too. He had like a a Mega Man collection or something like that. Uh, really, nothing that people would associate him with. And that was a poll yeah. that he would play leading up to his 15 year anniversary. And none of the wow. games have anything to do with him or nothing that people associate him with, like the the Heavy Rain playthrough, which is his quote unquote classic playthrough. Yeah. So again, him being out of touch with his business, not knowing what to do, puts it to a poll. The poll people, they make a bad choice or they make the trolls choice, which is going to get us the most salt. And this, uh, I'm pretty sure that the GTA 5 playthrough is going to be terrible because that, that first part, the little gameplay that I saw, I'm impressed that people can be that bad in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah did he say it's for his 15 year anniversary or something because like gta is like a classic game for him is that was his thinking oh like, probably oh, God, no one gives a fuck but um epic he, he, yeah yeah that was uh that was the the reasoning because he played it but back when he played it he wasn't he wasn't an interactive streamer he was just Whoa. a streamer oh, you know yeah, that gimmick yeah, he did yeah, where yeah. he was recording playthroughs while streaming but ignoring chat so the playthrough can be untainted well he did that you, you know what's better about Fallout those, though? 3. There was no begging in the middle of them. He would just play the fucking yeah. game, at least. Now we get yeah. the begging breaks and the, yeah, and the aeration breaks. 
that's basically all that's different, isn't it, really? Because he was, yep. yeah, there's, there's no interacting with chat, but he was still streaming and he's still like cutting the stream into bits and stuff. So, yeah, nothing's mm. really changed. It's just, yeah, now he's fucking constantly. So now he can pause longer. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Six months for Oblivion. This the GTA is not going anywhere for a while. No, it's nope. just a nice, easy game for him to play, isn't it? And, yeah, yeah Duty Street yeah. makes a good point. Should have played Force yeah. Unleashed first. His first. I guarantee he's Definitely. gonna play that this month. He's gonna play that and his big like. This is my first game I ever recorded, so he's gonna do that this month. I think. What do you think he should have played? Because I think Fallout Three. When I think of like a classic DSP playthrough, I think of Fallout Three and him getting such like progressively drunker throughout it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I'd like to see yeah. him replay that. So, uh, Meyer Faker says, Are you reaching out to someone from Machinima? Yes. Yeah, so, the plan right now is to have a Machinima special on uh, uh, Phil's is Saturday, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I yeah, think it's Saturday yeah. this one. Yeah. So, I was thinking about doing it. So, I want to do Density Scrolls that mm. Saturday before Phil goes live to tell mm. you the real truth <laughs> of what we found online. And I am reaching out to people, uh, for example, Larry Bunda Jr., who was also at Machinima during that time. Yeah. And we also had him on the show before. And yeah. just getting the many facts out there we can. Here are Phil's – we're going to go through as much as we can of Phil's interactions with Machinima from back in the day. And then on Sunday – on Saturday, we watch Phil's – we don't watch it, but you know, we all collectively, wherever yeah, we want yeah. to – Someone's it streaming it. Someone's streaming it. Watch the Machinima thing, and then the next day we'll have our show, and then we can talk about it, obviously. It'll be the main topic next week. And uh, mm. hopefully we get a hype guest for that too. Uh, so that should be pretty hype next week. This week is kind yeah, of because he's, week, he's but... switched the um the the react run now, so we can't talk about like oh what he did last yeah. night, what he saw last yeah. night. So directly yeah. attacked. I just yeah, kidding. it's our fault. <laughs> nothing we can do, dude. It's nothing we can fucking do. Um, before we we were wrap... drunk. I don't remember it. <laughs> before we wrap up, I do want to shout out real quick. Uh, Black Doom, King of the Ring finalist, is putting together a tournament. Uh, for obviously detractors or whoever wants to get in there, I put the link in the chat right now. If you want to play Street Fighter against other fellow minded people, go ahead. There's oh, nice. the link it's right there, and you have to be. I think there's some rules. You'll check it out. Gold or lower. Gold or lower with the character you choose. So it's like you know, don't bring your top level characters in here. Right? You don't get it. <laughs> if you bring a master level in here, you don't get it. Do you, you guys realize I put the controller down? So it's supposed to be like that. So go check it out and get in there and uh, see if you want to play. But uh, yeah, I think that's the end of the topics we've got. Anything else on your minds to get, gentlemen, before we say goodbye? It's a wonderful Sunday. Where Meerkat it's is going to go on Decepticon quiet, stream after this, by the way. So. It's been quiet. Yeah, quiet week. Nope, I think that's uh, pretty much everything right. covered. We're going to wrap I've, it up. I've been editing my Jasper video, so that'll be out soon. But... Soon TM? <laughs> yeah. Soon, soon TM, TM. Yeah. When it, It'll be done when it's done. It's George Prasad once said. <laughs> Oh yeah, make sure to watch our Mario review. Yeah, with... we should pick that out more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with uh with the DSP's review as well. Yeah. The review of his review. Yeah, we've yes, been getting so... good positive feedback. So if you want us to review something else or his review of that thing, recommend us to us somewhere uh, mm. below in the comments, I guess. Yeah. And yeah. Sonic could be good. Yeah, Sonic could be a good one to follow up from Mario. Oh yeah, Sonic would be good. Yeah, that's mm. a with the history. That'd be interesting. Mm. Yeah, that'd be I nice. Can't... Like gaming related one again. Yeah, that'd be mm. cool. I can't remember. Trying to steer that. us away from the Godzilla one now. <laughs> Just like, I don't want to watch his. I don't want to watch his review of a film I like. So <laughs> his review is that he liked it basically. So some of his yeah. reviews are just really generic, like middle of the road. I liked it type of thing. Yeah. So it's it's really not much we can say about it. He liked it, and it was a likable movie. So that mm. there you go. It needs yeah, to be Mario... something more explosive, like the Mario review, because that shit is trash. He missed yeah. half of the movie, basically. He has no clue what's going on mm. in the whole movie. He says, uh, "Remember, my favorite quote is: I finished it. I didn't feel like I watched a Mario Brothers movie." <laughs> well, I was like, "When are we going to get to Mario?" And then at the end, yeah. we're never going to get to Mario. What? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> And he's like, there's no <laughs> my favorite one. No, let's just redo the show. Yeah, okay. uh, my favorite one is the <laughs> when he says, like, they were hinting at Mario Kart, but there's no like official circuits named. <laughs> what do you want him to do? Look at the bit he's talking about. They're on the fucking rainbow road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to like have the Mario Kart music playing, the like the select screen, mm. start button, choose your course. Like you have to see every mm. fucking thing. Dumb fuck. Anyways. That's it for our show today. Thanks so much for joining us. You're all legends, of course. Everybody's a legend. I'll get the shows on Spotify today in honor 
of you, Lubos. You're a legend. And um, <laughs> everyone's going to hit out Meerkat. You're going to do, do Decepticon. Is this, are we redirecting everyone already or what's the deal? Uh, first, I'm going to do my own pre stream restream. And right, this is going to okay. re redirect you there. Then we're going to go over to the Decepticon's house. We're going to be having drinks. So everybody mm. pour up a drink unless you're at work. Then you got to pour up two. Because you want the vibe to be right. Uh, and if you're driving, pour up three. Just oh. for good old time's sake. Obvious. If you're driving Mario Kart. that That's yeah. what I mean. If you're driving in Mario Kart. Not in real life. You should never be doing that. But don't get so drunk that you come onto Bay and then pass out when people start going yeah, yeah. out on, on a yeah. I, I, I see. Just say you're an alcoholic. You're you don't remember. <laughs> yeah. You're not a snitch. There's a lot of excuses you could use, so don't worry. It's easy to talk your way out of that. Anyways, we're done. You're all legends. Sam, send us home. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bronco burgers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bronco <Bye>. burgers. <laughs> Bronco. This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat, big ups. I first saw you in Burger King, you took two seats cause that ass is way too big, had a boyfriend I realized. But you told him lies with your raccoon eyes The door dash is here Wipe away your tears Got you extra fries And they taste just right Have no fear There's no trolls here Kevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. Raccoon eyes. Raccoon eyes. Kevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. some sushi like you were the queen let me run some errands while you sleep i can watch you play skyrim all day this week have no fear there's no trolls here kevin made you cry with those records So much she loves me and a family and Jasper and, and you know the things we get to do together you know, I definitely want more time with them and more family time but I absolutely love my life today compared to how it used to be seriously all those years back then you'd be like it's a whirlwind of crap it was me and by the way I've told you guys about my past I used to drink way too much I would be drinking constantly all the time because I was so stressed out I was I, honestly when I started with this whole thing I was depressed many years ago you know a decade ago I didn't like my life or anything and basically liquor was the way to kind of get through that you know it was oh I hate my life I hate, I hate who I am so let me just drink it all the way and just keep pumping out fucking YouTube videos I don't have to do that shit anymore you know like I'm happy with who I am I actually don't think clicking like on a live stream helps at all. So it really doesn't matter if this, this stream gets 100 likes or two. I don't think it affects it.
That's it. Jasper, you're out of here. He jumped up there again. You know, I don't know what I really think it is. It's the 60 frames. He never did this before PS5. All right, buddy, you're out of here. Let's go. Well, let's go. You're out. You're out of here. I'm sorry. You can't be in here tonight. You're acting up, and I got to play games, okay? Sorry, buddy. I'll see you after. <laughs> I don't like doing that. You know what I think? I'm honest. I think it's the PlayStation 5. It's the 60 frames because he used to always be in here. He never jumped in front of the TV. Only since I got the PS5 does he jump in front of the TV now. So I think with more, 60, with more frames of animation, okay, he's seeing the, the extra animation and it catches his eye. I think so. It was actually funny because what was it? the other day there was snow and the snow attracted him. So that's what I think it is. Like, maybe the 30 frame stuff didn't look realistic to him because, you know, he's never seen different frame rates. He's not playing video games and watching movies. Anyway, I don't know. That's, what, that's just my theory.